Yo, yo, what the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Ghost. We are back with some more Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Monday, September 3rd, Labor Day. You know, last week I really didn't even know what labor was, but then we looked it up. And Labor Day is just a day off for motherfuckers that work to celebrate the fact that you got a job. So for Labor Day, you just get to chill. Namido, we here making YouTube videos. And in today's video, we will be dropping five. Five heavyweight packs. Now, I think with the way the cards are being released uh, on every Monday, you get one veteran, one heavyweight, one flashback. I don't want to spread them out. You know, usually I'd be doing two of these and two of those and two over here. I'm just going to say, hey, I'm going to find one of the cards, the most attractive card to me. And I'm going to bust down five of them packs for that specific card. Plus, I also need some linemen. My left side is just, it's looking like cake over there. We got an 85 center and an 85 left guard. This isn't too bad, but over here we nice. We got we got two good pieces over here, but here and over, we kind of we kind of sweet. So the purpose of today's video: five heavyweights. Hopefully we can bolster that offensive line and not get killed on that side anymore. Weekend league. Woo! I think I finished 13 and five. I didn't play all of my games, so 13 and five is what? That's 18 games played. So that means I had seven left. It was just, I just got tired of playing. I got a late start and I was busy the other day. So I didn't play a lot of weekend league, but I did, I was 13 and five. I don't even think, I think that got, I don't even think that got me to go, but it's all good. Uh, so let's look at some of the players that's released. We got Justin Houston, Josh Sitton, and Andrew Whitworth. And guess what? Josh Sitton's a left guard, so we can go use that. If we can get a left guard and a center today, it's a complete W. Let's check him out. Yo, if I knew Andrew Whitworth was going for 170K, I might would have opened one of those packs too. You always just think veterans are gonna be the worst pack. They got the worst pool of players you could pick by far. But um, 88 overall, 170, easy. Hey, maybe, maybe I messed up. Maybe I should have picked the veteran packs. And look at this, he's just, Better than my powered up Trent Williams. Yo, where, where they do this at? Yo, we we might have made him. Nah, we ain't waiting no mistake. We still going hard on the heavyweight packs, but let's look at these stats real quick. 89 strength, 92 awareness, 87 pass block. 87 plas, pass block finesse. That's just too many stats to talk about pass block. Like, I don't like the breakdown. I just like to know 87 pass block and 86 run block. 89 strength though that's nice that's really nice this card is much better than i thought it was so i may have to keep my eye on it if we don't pull a left tackle and uh he, he may be on the team all right next up going for about 220 i know it says 234 um i picked like five cards now uh going for about 220 90 overall left outside linebacker power upable justin houston now justin houston has always been a super attractive card to me but he's been notoriously slow in every year's past. And here we go, 90 overall with 78 speed. I just don't like it. Uh, power, power move, block shedding, play wreck, and tackle are all great. And he's got 82 excel, so that's not bad at all. It's just I always want to get a Justin Houston card, but then that speed is like, you can't do it, Ghost. You, you can't rock with that speed. But hell of a card, man. 220 is, is very attractive. I think we got three attractive drops uh today um you can't go wrong with picking any of them it seems like to me uh, justin houston's probably third so i'm gonna say josh Sitton was the best andrew whitworth and then this uh justin houston it's a dope car man he just if he was just a little bit faster he'd be he'd be godlike and speaking of godlike uh it has nothing to do with josh Sitton. uh but he's a 90 overall left guard uh, heavyweight now this is this is what we're going after today this is the card that if i pull it I'm, I'm i'm not selling it i'm just gonna keep it uh five heavyweight packs i mean i think we got an awesome chance to do it as long as we stay out of the way of them 87s and them 86s i think we'll be good but let's look at these stats real quick 86 strength 91 awareness 89 pass block 91 run block this card is delicious man it's, it's a delicious card 
and, and I want it. I want it really bad. Like, I think he's better than Andrew Nor. Who's not? Who's not a trash card anyway, but I just, I feel like it's time to, you know, I like to bolster up one thing at a time. Uh, so, Andrew Nor is a dope card, but this, this sitting guy, he is, um, he's, he's a beast. And he's power upable. And I believe I got all of his other cards somewhere. Somewhere I got these cards. But this is who we're going after. Josh Sitton. And plus, there's just a hell of a lot heavy. Hell, damn. A hell of a lot of heavyweight players that we could use. Jesus, that was like the hardest sentence to ever get out. Five packs, though. Let's look at our timer. We're looking at about seven minutes. I don't know if I'm going to stretch this to ten. But we're not even going to try it. I ain't going to do that like that for y'all, man. Five heavyweight packs, and I'm holding on to these other two until I finish uh, all of the all of the month levels. We're at 44, yo. It took it's, it's so hard to get up a level. It, it's, it's it's really a chore to to go up one level once you fill all the solos. But we're 88, and we're at 44 overall. We got these two packs, heavyweight packs. I need some music. I think Gucci got a song. Let's play that here. Heavy. All right, five heavy weights to go. I'm not gonna make you guys wait any longer. We're still trying to stretch this video out to not 10 minutes. Yo, I'm scummy. I'm so scummy. I know it. Can we? I don't know what none of the animations look like, but that looks pretty good to me right here. As we get an 87 Akeem Hicks. Now this is definitely not what we're trying to get, especially. When you got JJ Watt on the left side, and if y'all don't, if y'all haven't seen a reason to pick up this JJ Watt card, I want you to see one thing. 80 catching. You put this dude on a QB spy, and you just let him do what he does. Like he he just jumps, he gets it. It's like a it's damn near like a nano glitch interception. So if you have no reason to get JJ Watt, and if you can ever spend your money on one card to get, I highly right, I highly recommend that big boy right there. I do. So Keem Hicks is probably going for 60k at the end of the video. We can check and see how much we've made on these packs. I probably spent about 120 because I have no silvers. I had no silver tokens. It took me two hours to get 15 silver tokens because you need three for each set. So first pack, not a hit, but we're not too mad. Let's go ahead and open up that second pack. We want Josh Sitton. We want Alex Max. We need one of those. Let me get a Marquise Pouncey. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade. I mean, no, we didn't we want to upgrade right now. We want to compare them. I believe my current center is Rodney Hudson. Let's see if we're right. There we go. Rodney Hudson. So definitely an upgrade. 90 pass block. 81 run block. 80, 81 run block. So it's not an L. It's not an L. It's definitely a position of need. Two packs in. Three to go. I need a 90 overall. I forgot about snacks. We need snacks. That's gonna be dope. We just called it, we need snacks. We about to pull snacks right here in this third pack. Chris Jones, that's an L. We're not even gonna look at none of those snacks. Going straight to the next one. Snacks in my pack. Alex Mack in my pack. Can we get a 90, Russell Kung? Look, look, look. This is not going well at all. Not going well at all. We got one last pack. We got maybe two W's. Two W's and, 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 and two L's. So this this is this tiebreaker right here. Two W's, two L's. We don't, we don't even want to look at it. 87s, we're not rocking with 87s. And for the fifth and final pack, can we get a ball? Can we get a boss? Don Terry Poe. I don't know. Let's check these prices. First up, I want to say for the time that it took me to make all of these damn silver tokens, I don't feel like I got my money's worth. I don't, it took a lot of time. Marquise Pouncey, I think that's the only dub. Is that the only dub? Yeah, Mark, Mar we got one dub and four L's. All right, so let's start off with who I think is gonna be the least. One of these two guys. All right, so Keem Hicks is currently going for 60K. I think all these are gonna be worth 60. Chris Jones, maybe not Don Terry Poe, 60K. So we're at 120 which is pretty much pro we just broke even with those two cars we got rid of a lot of elites that we had and could have so Ooh, russell okung 70k so 60 60 is 120 plus 70 we had 190 
So 190 and I'm pretty sure Don Terry Poe might be going for like 80. Something like that. Man, another 70. So with 260, that's what we're gonna make when we sell the four cars. We got an average of a little over 120. 120 per two, 60, 60. So yeah, pretty much 60. And let's see how, mar how much this Marquise Pouncey going for. But and we're keeping this guy, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, and that was a banger right there. Now, if we could have just had one more of those 88s, 180,000 coins. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think I got to run to Walmart, pick up some stuff. Looking kind of bare around the crib. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Ghost, and I'm gone.